Hey, welcome back. We're continuing our conversation from today's show here online at AndersonCooper.com. Uh, We're with the parents of, of Trayvon Martin, their attorney, uh, Benjamin, uh, and also uh, legal expert, Sonny Haas. And you, you had a question. Yeah, I was just wondering if have they since done a background check and also if he went out there with a gun, doesn't that show that he kind of went out there for an intent to provoke something? Well, in Florida, you can carry, I mean, he, he had a permit to, to, to carry the weapon. But they have done now, Benjamin, a check on his record. He had said his record was squeaky clean. There were some incidents. Yeah, they lied to Tracy Martin. His father looked them in his eye and told them that the reason we didn't arrest George Zimmerman was, one, he had a squeaky clean background. Two, he was a four-year student in criminal justice. Three, he had a license to carry a concealed weapon. Four, that he was over the neighborhood watch program. And for those reasons, we just can't see how he would be the cause of this, is what they said. We know that's a lie now because in 2005, he was arrested for resisting arrest with violence and batter on a law enforcement officer. And what's really interesting is looking at that actual police report, what those police said gave them probable cause to arrest him. He challenged their authority and said he didn't care who they were. And we think that is a pattern with this guy. He has a propensity to try to take things into his own hands. And that's what he did that night with Trayvon Martin. And for that, he went, he didn't go to jail. He went to some sort of remediation program. Yeah, and Seneca could probably speak to this. He went to a diversion program diversion. for one year where he was on probation. And when he finished that, he then got to try to seal his records and clean everything up. Okay. Sorry, you've had your hand up a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, I couldn't help but be curious. Um, he was a lead of the Neighborhood Watch, but you kind of answered my question a little bit. I was wondering if there actually, within the neighborhood, if there's actually been any incidents with any neighbors saying that there's anything odd with... Mr. Wilkins, or, um, Mr. Zimmerman, Zimmerman th sorry. there have not I mean, I've talked to some neighbors who, who uh, speak up for Zimmerman, uh, and there have been a number of break-ins in, in the neighborhood, which is why there was concern about having this, this neighborhood watch. Have you heard anything other neighbors talk about Zimmerman? Yes, there are some neighbors Thank who you. said that he profiled them, too. In fact, there was one neighbor who complained to the Homeowners Association as well as to the Sanford Police Department, a Hispanic gentleman, who said that Zimmerman harassed him. I, I talked to one neighbor of Zimmerman um, who used to head the neighborhood watch, uh, who's Caucasian, who supported Zimmerman. He said he was surprised, though, that Zimmerman actually carried a, a gun, though, that, that he, he hadn't known that he would. What, what do you want to say? I guess since Zimmerman was on neighborhood watch, wouldn't he know the people that were in the neighborhood so he wouldn't have shot him at all? Mary, uh, Marion. I've never met him. Did, did you know George Zimmerman? I did not. No. I don't know what his face looked like until I saw his picture on TV. So you hadn't seen him patrolling around before? No. Okay. Interesting. Uh, probably time for one more. Yeah. I'm just curious, um, Zimmerman, has he had a response to your family? Has he said anything? I just don't understand how you could be walking around every day and know that you, you know, people are accusing you of shooting a young child, and I just don't understand how he has not spoken out or said anything about it. No, we have not heard anything from him. Um, we have been asked if he felt that it was an accident to at least get in touch with us and apologize, but we have not heard anything at all. Mm. Um, we're, we're out of time. I, I want to again thank you very much, and, and we're going to continue to follow this, and thank you for joining our continued conversation online at the website, andersoncooper.com. Let us know what you think about, about all this. Uh, write your comments below. I'll see you next time.